anything there, but probably Russ needed something. I don't know whether Rich is still here. Are you still here, Rich? You remember that? And two L E N. Is your name Rich and two L E N? Nope, the name is Len, but I'll uh, stand by. <laughs> Good afternoon. Yeah, okay, you got a nice signal here, N2LEN. Where are you located? Good afternoon here. Yeah, the name is Len. I'm up in uh, Catskill, New York. Just uh, finished working on this 7700. I'm on the uh, the workbench. Stock microphone. I just wanted to know if uh, the audio sounds clean. Just button the rig up. Sounds good to me. Uh, Icon 7700. Boy, that's a... Uh, if, if I remember that, that's uh, one of the uh, best... Uh, uh, models they built in that time frame, the 7700. That's quite expensive, or it was anyway, over. It sounds wonderful to me, over. Well, thank you very much. Uh, yep, this is, uh, well, it's, it's uh, been discontinued for about two years. I picked this radio up. It was a tech special. It had uh, a blown PA section, and believe it or not, I found another donor rig on eBay from a gentleman in Connecticut, and, uh, I was able to uh, get the rig working, repair the PA unit. And just like I said, just finished button the rig up, uh, just the idle currents and the bias currents in the PA section. And I uh, did some quick checks last night into a dummy load. So this is actually the first on the air check running about a hundred Watts. And I appreciate you guys picking me up. Don't mean to get in between the QSO. Now that, that's capable of 200 Watts, isn't it? Yes, it is. It's a 200 watt rig. I was seeing, uh, after doing the uh, the adjustments, I was seeing about a buck eighty, buck eighty five coming out uh, into the dummy load uh, while checking on the service monitor. But uh, yeah, it's a 200 watt rig. Yeah, yeah, I know the one, and that's quite a rig for sure. It's all the radio most anybody would ever need, I would think. Uh, Paul, why don't you say hi to uh, Len there? And to uh, and I know where Catskill is. That's not too far from where a friend of mine lives up there, but he's in Florida now. Over to you, Paul, K1AFI, and Gary may be in there too, K1MQ. This is W2AO. Yeah, Len, you, you sound wonderful. You've got a good uh, station there. The antenna is very good too but the rig sounds great it sounds uh, first class just out of the box gary are you there k1 mq k1 afi k1 afi k1 my queen yep still here you know you, you heard len there he sounds excellent doesn't he oh that he does uh, he's uh, about 10 over nine here in central connecticut Thank you so much, guys. I, I really appreciate the uh, the first radio check on this rig. I'm going to uh, move it off the bench. I'm going to let it uh, stay on and just run itself. Let it. Uh, I, I don't know when the last time the actual, the main rig was powered up. But I'm just going to let it play on the bench. And then uh, later this evening, I'm going to move it into the radio room and get it uh, into its last resting place. So thank you so much. Uh, once again, I appreciate the radio check. We'll wish you guys a, a happy and a healthy and a safe new year. And all the best from N2, LEN, best seven threes. And once again, thanks a lot from Catskill, New York. That's a very uh, heavy rig, uh, too, isn't it? I know it's very big. Over. I think it's 55 pounds. I can only tell you that by uh, when the radios were shipped. <laughs> but it is. It, it's, it's, a, it's pretty hefty. Roger, Roger. Well, lots of good luck with it. Sounds like a million dollars. Thank you so much. All the best. And uh, once again, happy and healthy new year, guys. From N2, LEN, best 7-3. Yeah, make sure you move it to its final operating position, not its resting place. Over. <laughs> That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Take care, guys. Good morning, Lenny. KD2NZO. Hey, Bill. Don't mean to, uh, I don't want to get in there be between the QSO and I saw your text message coming through on the phone. I'll get back to you through text. Thanks a lot. Catch you guys later. And to Ilian Clear. QSO, thank you, gentlemen. Paul, well, that's not too far from where uh, Bernie lives, Catskill. Bernie goes into Catskill.
uh, shopping every once in a while. Of course, Bernie's down in Florida now.